Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Rally Out of Stories. And in the last episode, we seen Ridley get hurt. And in this episode, we're gonna go to sleep and see what happened next because I was sent to my room. So, yeah, let's see what's gonna happen next. So, in my last video, because I'm doing these two video episodes back to back as recording. Um, hopefully some fun stuff happens, because that last part was just so sad. I mean, seeing it really get punched like that. I want to just go on outside, because I need some fresh air. Do, 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 do. Huh? Something wrong? In the basement! I want to have a call like Al. What's his problem? Oh yeah, funny thing guys, um, well this caught some close my ear. Uh the last time I did this part, you know, I was like I can't say I was last play, I was actually practicing before I was before I got all my equipment. And uh this is back before I had my new hard drive and I was playing with cheats and I don't know what cheat it was, but the game it's like Al didn't go across the screen, so it was just Jack just on staring, and like nothing else happened. So I had to do a reset. I was like, "Oh my God, no, no!" So I had to reset and all that crap. I was so mad. I think it's in one of my save files. But let's see what's going on here. Huh? What's that? You shut up! I'm a dungeon jailer, damn you! Hmm? What in the world happened to him? Why is he like this? I should check this out. Oh yeah, check it out. In the bowels of the dungeon. I gotta tell ya, it was a real Patrick. handful getting him in there. Screw you! Let me out of here! Well. What's up? <laughs> they call this house hands up. <laughs> it's terrible. I don't know what happened, really. All of a sudden he went bonkers and started beating on Putt. Putt looks like thing one or thing two. Exactly. Except no he's not... When suddenly... What, that blue that they are? I don't remember. I hate that snooty little nerd! You can never tell what he's plotting! Oh. He's beating. You should get him to the infirmary. Master Jack, you are surprisingly calm. Hey, for high flying knights like me, <laughs> this is <good> stuff. <laughs> He's trying to rub I'm in his hair. <laughs> Jack is an idiot. What caused this? I'll be darned if I can figure it. I guess you'd have to ask him. You all need to be taught a lesson! I'm not through with you yet! Let me out of here! Yeah, I don't want to miss nobody. Ugh, forget what that. What is wrong with this guy? He's gone kill kill, Jack. He was always a big yapper, but I ain't never seen him violent like this before. So why now? Beats me. Hey, <laughs> Patrick! You oversized cement head! Let me out of here! That's some pretty PG name calling. He used to be as meek as a mouse with me. Always following me around real quiet like. That's creepy. And you should see how strong he is now. We barely got him into the cell. I hope you're ready, because I'm gonna shut that big mouth of yours for good! <laughs> we can't do anything <laughs> with him. ignoring him. I just don't know what to do. Hmm. You can stop worrying now. Dinus? Well, Dinus. Whoa. Sir Dinus. Sir Dinus. He looks awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? You you don't know Sir Dinus? You must be Jack Russell. I can spear. General Dinus of the Royal Radiotum Knights. General Dinus. Wow! The general? So that means That's right. He's the big boss of all the knights. 
Stand back, please, Jack. Uh oh. Patrick. I swear, I love characters that wear capes. It looks so badass. But sir. Well, it depends on who's wearing the cape, but all together, it's like I just love oh, characters with capes. So like their personality the general, just gets so much better with capes. I'm saying that all. It's really capes. very dangerous. Sir. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I like. I know what I'm doing. Open the door. Huh? Oh, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> the big generals come out to play. Patrick, unlock the door and get out of the way fast. Hmm. Boom! Headshot. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was pretty quick. <laughs> is is he dead? No, he's just been knocked out. We need him alive to conduct our tests. Tests? Tests? What the? You mean this isn't the first time someone's gone nuts like this? Ha, <laughs> very astute young man. Yes, this appears to be another case of the plague. A plague? What the hell? We've received numerous reports of people suddenly turning violent. We're keeping a close eye on the situation. Okay. Still pretty the weird. plague? You mean a disease calls this? This does not leave the castle, do you understand? It might cause a panic among the people. Still pretty, uh, you know, scary. Goodbye. I'll be seeing you again, Jack. Sir. Wow, carrying him by the collar. I do. Whoa, he is way too cool. Except for the ball thing. <laughs> if he heard you say that, he'd knock your head off. <laughs> One way or another, you always find a way how to say something sly. <laughs> That's why he is my hero. Not really, but my hero. So, now we're gonna go back to... God, so many doors. Jesus. Um, now I'm gonna go back to our room and go back to sleep, because there's nothing else to do really, except if I didn't have the equipment, I could go all the way upstairs and... Oh my gosh, there was not this many doors, this many steps to last time. Um, I could go all the way up to at the higher place, go to the shop and whatever. Because there's some shops, like an uh, item shop at the least. I know it's an item shop. Wait, this is the right door. Hmm, what was in here? The cure needle, I'll need. Anything else? Nope. What a hiccup. Uh, yep, stuff I don't need. So, but yeah, now we'll go back to my room and sleep. And, uh, yep, let's see what this is. But there's not really that much else to do after this part, so we're just gonna, you know, slowly but surely. Go on to the road to nowhere. I can't see for crap. Pacing around, Lord Jasne. Lord Jasne, please try to stay calm. Stay calm? How do I stay calm? My Ridley, my precious, That's precious right. yeah, Ridley. So really. Really Those filthy red cheeks. I won't let them get away with this. But not a red No, it's a I've been working my that fingers to the bone, like trying tomato. to encourage friendship and trade with the non-humans. And this is the thanks I get. It's not dwarves, then it's orcs. Fairy creatures grow more insolent by the day. All because I reached my hand out to them. They need to be taught a lesson. I completely understand how you must feel. No one can question the enormous contribution you have made to the building of peace between the races. But that is why we should not let a moment of passion 
undo all that you have done. Hmm. I'm fine. Just forget about the non-humans for now. But I won't forget why Ridley was placed in such terrible danger. Natalie was supposed to watch over them. She shouldn't have allowed this to happen. But the responsibility ultimately lies with Gantz. That fat and covenant fool. And that's the pot calling a kettle. Hmm. Black. If I may make a suggestion, my lord. One fat person Perhaps not Ridley send the call another fat again. person fat. Make Ridley like seriously. A captain. Yes. Then you can assign Man, only the best, uh, most trustworthy knights yeah, to the command. Like blind, calling another person blind. It would, I think, be far <laughs> just safer not for her that way. than continuing to serve in the Rose Cochon Brigade. Brilliant, Lucian. Of course, a magnificent idea. But there is just one thing missing from your plan. What's that, sir? It does nothing to make me feel better about what happened. What about those infernal halfwits in the Rose Cochon? It was their fault that my Ridley was hurt. Why don't you have Captain Gantz and the young trainee discharged from the Knights? Really? You think so too? Of course. They couldn't expect to get away with anything less. Wait. But wait. There's still a problem. And that is? Locks. He would never agree to it. Let me look into that. I'm sure there are a number of suitable pretexts we can employ. Hmm. Wait, so... My lord. Oh, that's horrible. So now it's, uh... Okay, it's supposed to get me out of here? What, do you what the heck is going on, man? This bull. Forgive me, Lord Locks, but you are cruel to make me repeat this when it pains me so much to say it. Very well, once more then, the Rose Cochon Brigade must be disbanded. Whoa, wait, what? I want Ridley reassigned and made captain of a new brigade. As for Captain Gantz and the trainee Jack, they are to be dismissed at once. Is that clear enough? I'm sorry Ridley was hurt, but the Knights are under my command. By intervening, you are overstepping the bounds of your authority. Overstepping my authority? I am the Lord Chamberlain. I have the right to offer advice as I see fit. I have received Gans's report. I can find no fault in his judgment. With what crime would you charge them? They did all that they could to protect Ridley. Surely you realize that, Lord Jasney. Everything they could? Is that supposed to be some kind of joke? Not only did Gantz fail in his duty, he put his entire command in grave danger. I also understand that the young trainee, Jack, has been insubordinate to his superiors. The two of them have besmirched the honor, dignity, and trust of the glorious Radiata Knights. It grieves me deeply, but we have no choice. If you were truly grieved, you would give them a chance to restore that honor. To impose such severe punishment for a single mistake is unprecedented. Gantz is the son of Sir Gawain. Jack is the son of Sir Cairn. Those men were two of our finest knights. We cannot simply wipe out their names with a single gesture. Larks, I did not realize you were so old-fashioned. Knights cannot ride on the coattails of their parents. Well, I did not expect to hear that from you. Is there a problem? In any case, I refuse. You are aware, of course, that the dismissal of the knights in question is mandated by the knights' charter. Oh. Now, who was it who wrote the charter? Can you help me out here, Larks? Hmm? I did. This is a Oh, fucking... of course I am sorry. This is really I'm afraid up, that my man. memory just isn't what it used to be. So, Larks, do you really intend to waive the punishment that you yourself laid down in that document? Very well, Lord Jesney. 
I will see to it that the Rose Cochon Brigade is disbanded as you have requested. Excellent! I'll let you draw up the orders. I'm sure you'll want to inform the Brigade yourself. Of course. Wow, that's just messed up. I mean, he wants to cross my mind. He literally decided to for his own personal feelings and be like, oh yeah, it's their fault and like I hurt. I mean I don't wanna get all serious with this game. It's just a game. I try not to get too serious with this game. Ah, ten daggers. That's really messed up, man. So now, as of right now, we're gonna be disbanded. So I'm gonna keep it going. That's just nothing else to do. Well, back to the Hopefully, something else come comes on. Hmm? Whoa, you get beat up or something? Hey, Captain. Master Jack. What's wrong? You look as if your dog died. <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> hmm? Members of the Rose Cochon, due to several violations of the Royal Radiata Knights Charter, the brigade shall be disbanded as of tomorrow morning by order of Salute Locks, Commander in Chief. They're disbanding us? In addition, Due to the aforementioned violations, the persons named below shall tomorrow morning be discharged from the Radiata Knights. Those names are ours, Jack. Discharged? You mean fired? They're firing us, but we didn't do anything wrong! We have to leave tomorrow morning? Just like that? And their only explanation is this crappy piece of paper? We have to complain! Yeah, complain. No, Jack. Raising a fuss will only cause trouble for Lord Locks. Who cares about him? Lord Locks tried to protect us. He did everything he could to keep us in the nights. But his hand was forced. He had no choice but to get rid of us. Do you understand? If you say so. <sighs> I thought I would spend my whole life as a royal knight. I just never imagined that everything would end this way. Oh boy, Adele is going to be so mad when I get home. <laughs> You're getting such a scolding. Huh? What the? A Theater Van Cor recruitment flyer? Theater Van Cor. Yes. Theater Van Cor is the Warrior Guild. The Guild! I intend to oh, join. sorry. <laughs> My bad. You could join too, Jack. Huh? I don't know. It's kind of sudden. The decision is yours, of course. It's up to you. Well... I'm going to leave the castle tonight. I don't want to linger and make everyone feel uncomfortable. Goodbye. Well, that sucks. Oh. I've got kicked out of 20 nights. Hmm. This place looks really shady. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it does look shady as hell. I mean, you have a guy with one of an eye patch on there. So I decided to come along. Go with the flow. Here's the way That's what I say. Yay! Jack. Hmm. I'd like a little pick me up. You're gonna have a drink? <laughs> They'll probably have some kind of entry test. I'm a bit nervous. You don't need a drink. Besides, I'm underage. Drinks in the middle. Jack, I'm sorry. Captain, wait up! Whoa! Hold up. What do you think you're doing? Do you know who I am? It's Jarvis. I don't want to hear it, Jarvis. Please. Don't come back until you sobered up. You hear? Shove it! <laughs> don't shove it. <laughs> Watch it, buddy! 
Hey, that's my captain you're talking to. Ask me if I care, shrimp. What'd you say? Jack, that's enough. We don't need any trouble. There we go. Don't worry about me. I'll make sure I go easy on him. Hey, kid, what was that? I'm going to chop you up like liver. Hey, I'm ready if you are. Uh oh. So now I gotta fight Jarvis. Or drunken Jarvis. And I'm the leader, come by myself. You're lucky I had them beers. All right. I kick your oh. <laughs> <laughs> under the light though. Wait, where's Jack Sword? Just a big mouth wino. Uh, Captain? <laughs> he ran right. <laughs> he went in that bar. I mean, so quick, like, you didn't even notice. He went, like, pew! I'm in there. So, okay. Now we're in the pub. I haven't been in the pub in a while. Hey! Captain, you're getting late. Let's go already. Just one more, Master Jack. Why don't you talk to the other customers while you're waiting? Alright. Hi! Hers. What? What's this from hers? You should respect her privacy. Hello? Good evening, the drinks here are great. I want to drop by in the evening. Hello? I'm at my shop sometime. It's the accessory store in Warrior Town. My practice are the best for me, I mean. Oh, of course. Hello? That's what her says. Hi! Oh, go away. Leave me alone. Hi! She says some. She wears a pretty loud uh, clothing. Hi! Welcome. Oh, hello. This is your first time here, isn't it? My name is Yuri. I work here. I'm Jack. Nice to meet you. Hi. The event core is very close by, but do be careful in the streets. But whoever just said. Now I'll talk to Geesk. Hey. Huh? Get a punk who tangled with Jarvis. The name's Jack. Yeah, yeah. Don't let me catch you brawling in front of my players again, okay, punk? Stop calling me that. <laughs> So now I talk to all the customers and the barkeep. Let's talk to him again. Hey! Captain, it's getting late. Let's go already. Ah, yes, I suppose you're right. I know life away since that theater van call. <laughs> now we go to the guild. Now, um, I want to say the guild a lot because I'll tell you guys in a sec. Well, here we are. We'll be fine, Jack. Let's just stay loose. <laughs> Why are they walking like that? <laughs> <laughs> it's moving so robotically. Hey there, we're here to enlist. And who are you? <laughs> I am Captain Gantz Rothschild, formerly of the Rose Corshaw Brigade. <laughs> He's so nervous. <laughs> this is my former subordinate, Master Jack Russell. Today we retired from the Royal Knights and came directly here to apply to your organization. Yeah? <laughs> okay, Tubbs, you're on the third floor. The kid goes to the second. Move it. You want to take the test, right? Uh, now? We don't have time for hoity-toity night ceremonies here. Now get your fingers out of your noses and hop to it. <laughs> I love fennel. Yes, sir. <laughs> Gee, what happened to staying loose? <laughs> oh, yeah. Tubbs will be with Gerald, our second in command. You get Sergeant Caesar, squirt. Caesar. What kind of outfit is this? <laughs> I don't blame me, Jack. I think it's right here. This is the best part of the game. Well, one of the best parts. It's open. Whoa. Whoa. How did he know I was here? The stuff goes on fast, Jack. There's some thin walls here. Uh, yeah. Hi. You are an applicant. What is your name? Oh. 
Jack Russell. Very well, Jack. I would like to ask you a simple question. Why do you wish to join Theater Van Cor? Well, I got fired from the Knights. Hmm. <laughs> An unusually frank young man. Is he just a fool, or is there more to him? Out loud, though. <laughs> oh, Next well, question. That's how Imagine this situation. You have been sent on a very dangerous mission, and you find yourself alone. The rest of your party lies dead. What do you do? What kind of fucking question? What do I do? I'm not really sure I get your point exactly. Hmm. Huh. Huh. <laughs> that is the end of my test. Please proceed to Deputy Gerald's room on the third floor. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just Jack. funny, like, uh, huh. Yeah? All men must die. What the fuck? Yeah, that's for sure. I guess. <laughs> Gee, what kind of what test was that? Hell? He shows no tenacity of purpose and exhibits no fear of death. An intriguing young man. Okay, so it seems it was complete what the fuckery. Like, he was like... One of those. I don't know. That was just completely fucking weird. I think I go here now. Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> hey, you trying to kill me? <laughs> you managed to die. Gerald, the badass, the the, the biggest badass. All right then. The entire, uh, Let's continue. Deal. Huh? Aren't you taking the test? Oh yeah, right. You swinging that sword at me kind of knocked me off track. Hmm. Minus three points. What? You allowed yourself what? to become flustered. During that time, three of your allies were slain. What the fuck? Therefore, minus three points. Oh, come on, no way! In war, there is no time for cowardice or incompetence. Now, if you're ready, we'll go to the training ground. Today, you get special treatment. If you can beat me in combat, you will pass the test and be able to proceed. You mean like a practical exam? All right, that's more like it. You'd better be sure you're ready. I won't be holding back. What kind of test is this, man? Okay, anyway, can I fight Gerald and get my ass kicked probably? Oh, oh, I have to get a chance to live. That been late of good God. I even have a chance to say hello. I just poof. You didn't run away. I'm impressed. Oh man, I didn't even come close to winning. What did you expect, fool? I was a swordsman years before you were born. Now get on your feet. You have to go up to the fourth floor and see the boss. Huh? I like your guts, boy. You've passed. Now get moving. <gasps> yes, sir! <laughs> already on. <laughs> You're looking more like a soldier already. Thanks to me, of course. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while since we've had someone like him in the guild. The guild. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you guys the reason why I like saying the guild. So, um, many of you guys that know the other videos I upload, which are Mugen videos, um, there's a forum I am a part of called the Mugen Guild. So, for short, it's called the guild. So, in a way, I always go the guild when I see it. So. Yep. Next is going to see the big boss, the person that's over all of Theater Van Core, which is the building. But you know, this is the Fighters Guild, so. Warrior Guild. Gerald is quite a fighter, isn't he? Oh, yeah. I've never fought anyone who was that good before. I'm telling you, it was pretty wild. You, you may be the one. The one? Hmm? We can use you. Uh... Excellent! You won't regret this! Wait till you see what I can do! Do not misunderstand me, Jack. You are still very weak. Huh? Uh... 
You were defeated by Gerald, were you not? Yeah, but I'll beat him soon. Sure, he's better than me now, but just you wait. Impossible. Huh? Hmm? Say what? You lack real strength. Because you wield your sword only for yourself. Remember this. Only those who fight to protect another are able to acquire true strength. Well, well. Fight to protect another, huh? Hmm. Hmm. This completes the tests. See Thanos at the first floor reception and he'll explain our procedures. Cool. Sure. Well, that was pretty... wild. So you passed. Easy peasy. Yeah. That tubby guy you came with failed. Huh? What? No way. The captain didn't make it? Nope. How did he stay? Oh, man. Anyway, I guess you need to know where you're staying. Grab your stuff and follow me. I'm wondering how he failed. That's my whole question. How did he fail that? And... Oh, what is this? I don't know. Maybe he wet his pants or something. This is it. Where? Where is it? Huh? My new home. It looks like a shack. Are you serious? This is it? <laughs> Tomorrow you'll be assigned to a unit. Be at the guild first thing in the morning. And don't be late. I'll be late. Later. He looks so sweet. The benefits aren't what I thought they'd be. <laughs> Speaking of which... I wonder where the captain is. Hey, captain! The captain! Uh, Master Jack, I was just resting here, enjoying the evening breeze. Captain, I heard you didn't pass the test. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. I, I wasn't feeling my best, and you know... <laughs> well, you were drunk and really avoiding notice. I suppose I shouldn't have had that drink beforehand. I really thought... We were going to be working together again. So, Master Jack, you passed, did you? Yeah. I is that right? <laughs> Wonderful. Well done, Master Jack. Excellent, excellent. Captain? No, no yes? more funny moments. What, what are you going to do now? Oh, I'll think of something. There are lots of other guilds, you know. Yeah, I'll, I'll be in touch as soon as I've settled down. Don't you worry about me now. Make sure you do your best for Theater Van Corp. But, Captain... Ah, uh, yes. There was one thing that I wanted to ask you. What's that? Well, it's about my father. Hmm? No, forget it. It doesn't matter. Why is he such a Jack. Take care. And it's the last we see of our brother Gans for we don't talk about one of Miss Gans. You're the best. Jack? Leonard! Where's Jack? Lady Ridley! You're back on your feet! I asked you where Jack was! He left the castle sometime last night. No! Wow. Father! Huh? Ridley? What's wrong? Why are you so upset? Why did you have the brigade disbanded? Why did you have those two fired? Well, what are you talking about? The knights are Lord Locke's responsibility. Who are you trying to please? Your daughter or yourself? But my sweet, now you're captain of your own brigade, with the very best knights under your command. I never asked for that. It's not what I wanted. Ridley, what's wrong, Ridley? Nothing. I'm fine. I'm just feeling a little dizzy. Uh, transportation is doing something. Jack.
Hmm. Huh? Where am I? Yeah. Ruins mystery to mine. Oh, right. This isn't the castle. <laughs> yes! I've got to get to Ben Core! <laughs> woke up smiling. I could never wake up smiling like, this isn't the castle. <laughs> you make the funniest stuff. Alright, so it's time for me to end this video. In the next episode of Let's Play Rowdy Out of Stories, we're going to go to the Theater Van Core, aka the. Uh, my guild was at, yeah, the Warriors Guild, or my call the Fighters Guild, because they got a Fighters here in Junk. So, yep, stay tuned for the next episode of Let's Play Rowdy Out of Stories.